Hi, I'm Gary Orr. I'm a health scientist ergonomist at the Occupational Safety and Health Administration in Washington, D.C. The thing I like the most about the conference, and I've been going to the conference now for since the beginning. I was at the first conference. I missed one conference in between, but I've been going to all the ones, all the conferences. And the thing that keeps me coming back is to be able to talk to practitioners and practitioners from a variety of industries from all across the world. And not only do you get uh, to talk to the practitioners who are on the ground doing the work, but you talk to designers and researchers as well. And so you get the full array of the, of the people who are out there in the field. Secondly, to me, what I really enjoy is the Ergo Cup. The Ergo Cup is like a short course on how to sell a project. You get all the information you get to go to management with, you talk the language of management. And of course, I get some great ideas from the Ergo Cup as well. And, and third, it's probably the most varied group of vendors that I've ever seen at an ergonomic conference. So wide variety of different solutions for different industries. So those are the, the things that keep me coming back to the conference. At first, the biggest problem for us, and I'm sure for a lot of uh, other folks who are practitioners in the field, is that you just couldn't get into locations. Uh, the locations that were working were uh, no longer, uh, you were no longer allowed to go in. So we've, we've worked through that. We're able to go into those locations. We're able to talk to workers and look at uh, the types of jobs that they're doing. And what I'm finding is that these uh, essential workers are extremely fatigued, both physically and mentally. And I, my sincerest thanks go out to uh, these workers, the, the essential workers who have had to go in, you know, when we can enjoy some of the things that, that they've been able to produce, they're out there working. And, and a lot of them are very nervous uh, about exposures and the type of work that they're, they're exposed to. And so uh, those are probably been the biggest challenge that we've had. So this is probably one of the bigger questions I get, not only from people outside of, of our work group, but within our work group, uh, people asking, I'm feeling some pain, what should I be doing? And we're seeing a lot of people looking at, should I be a standing workstation? Should I be a sitting workstation? And really the best workstation is when you change postures. That's the best thing that you can do. And usually if you stand, if that's your preferred working position, then fatigue will generally remind you that you've got to change positions. So you're going to pretty naturally in the course of work change positions and go to a sitting position. Unfortunately, if sitting is your preferred posture, then there's very little indicator that, hey, listen, I need to change postures. And what will happen is you'll be working all day. You'll be sitting down. You just after work, you binge watch some TV shows. And so you've been sitting now for 12 hours or so. And day after day of doing this, you're gonna to start to notice that the muscles, the joints are starting to get achy. And sometimes as that starts to progress, it becomes a little too late. It's now it's not like, oh, I can just go ahead and stand up for a little while. These things have started to, to get to the point where you're gonna to have to intervene either through stretching or maybe go and see a physician. So it becomes serious enough that you really have to do something. And so the best thing, at least my advice to most people is, you know, decide what you wanna do. Do you wanna sit down? Do you wanna stand? And try to work between the two of them. And if you do notice that you're starting to develop some aches and pains, then start to look at, you know, listen to your body, look at some stretches that might be able to help those, those particular areas get some blood flow back in, into that joint or muscle.